When a new gauge glass or probe type device is installed on a steam boiler application, a hot torque procedure must be performed, unless otherwise noted in the product manual. For example, Simplaport gauge glasses do not require a hot torque. This procedure ensures that all bolting and components are properly seated for optimum performance. The hot torque must also be performed after any maintenance is done to the equipment. Note that only the affected components, such as the installation of a new probe or glass kit, need to be hot torqued. All work must be done by a qualified technician. All plant rules and procedures must be followed, including any lockout tagout requirements. Always use caution when working on hot equipment. Verify that all level alarms and trips on low water fuel cutoffs have been bypassed on probe columns before any maintenance is performed to prevent any false alarms or wiring hazards. The hot torque procedure on a gauge glass or a probe type remote level indicator should be performed as follows. Isolate the gauge glass or probe device from any pressure. Fully open the drain valve to evacuate any built up pressures and to allow the contained steam and water to escape during equipment warm up. Partially open the steam valve slowly to allow a gradual increasing rush of steam to flow through the equipment. Do not open the valve fully as we only desire a gentle rush of steam for heating. This should take approximately five minutes and should be sufficient time for the equipment to reach operating temperatures. When the equipment has been properly heated, close the steam valve. The drain valve should remain open to allow any residual steam or pressure to escape. Immediately retorque the equipment to the correct value stated in the applicable instruction manual. Be certain to follow the torque sequence when torquing flat glass type gauges. There should be movement of one eighth of a turn or more. If there is no movement of the bolting or probes, the equipment was not heated properly. Repeat the procedure. Once the hot torque procedure is completed, close the drain valve and the equipment can be put back into service by slowly opening the steam and water valves. Carefully check for any leaks in the equipment. If any leaks are observed, stop and make the repair immediately. Then, verify proper operation of all illumination, relay controls and wiring or other accessories. Remove all bypasses from alarms and low water trip circuits that were applied. It is important to note that model FSB compression type probes and model P4000, P4100 series Simplaport bicolor gauge glass packing nuts do not require hot torquing. Please contact your local Clark Reliance representative or a Reliance Applications Engineer with any questions at the website below.